gray car. It's a gray factory. They're stopping, they're stopping. One out, one out, going Who's after the passenger. Alright, take the passenger, tag two, tag two. User left to a channel. User left to a channel. Are we still got to the driver? Alright, I still got the vehicle. It's going through User an alleyway left to a channel. now. We're going to be coming up towards Calais uh, Ave, I think, here. Stand by for a second. He's trying to go after the passenger. We're on Calais Avenue driving all over the sidewalks. He's trying to hop back into the vehicle. He's trying to hop back into the vehicle now. Calais and Vespucci intersection. Calais and Vespucci intersection. User joined your channel. Now we're going southbound on Calais Ave. Southbound Calais Ave. Suspects all all over the place here, southbound Calais Ave. Now we're going to be taking a westbound turn on the Lindsay Circus. Now we're going to be going southbound Palomino Avenue. Southbound Palomino Avenue. Now we're going to be coming up to North, South Rockford Drive intersection. Northbound South Rockford Drive. Still northbound South Rockford Drive. Now we're going to be taking an eastbound turn onto Ginger Street, passing the LTD. Eastbound Ginger Street still. Eastbound on Ginger Street. Going to be coming up past Lindsay Circus. We're on Lindsay Circus now heading northbound. Northbound Lindsay Circus in correct lane of travel. Now we're back where the passenger escaped. He's trying to hit the pa officers. Watch out, watch out. Northbound Calais Avenue, northbound Calais Avenue. Suspect is all over incorrect lane travel. San Andreas Avenue now. San Andreas heading eastbound. Eastbound San Andreas. Eastbound San Andreas at the DMV. Still eastbound San Andreas. We're going to be going up to Power Street now. We're coming up towards Power User Street. San Andreas incorrect lane to travel. Still heading eastbound. Eastbound. Now we're going to be turning northbound onto Low Power Street. Northbound Low Power Street. And we're going to the northern part of the city. Passing Swiss Chalet or, or uh, Swiss Street northbound on the passing Del Perro Freeway on Low Power Street here. Suspect spinning out uh, Power Street and Occupation Ave. Now we're heading eastbound to Occupation Ave on the sidewalk. Now we're going to be coming southbound onto Elgin Ave. Southbound Elgin Ave doing 100 miles an hour here. Southbound Elgin Ave. Just pass over the Del Perro Freeway. Now we're going to be coming up to Legion Square on Elgin Ave. Still heading southbound Elgin Ave. Still heading southbound Elgin Ave. Passing over Vespucci. Still southbound coming up towards Adams Apple. Going to be heading... Oh, Suspect oh, just nailed the post. And We're still yeah. going Adam's Apple, heading uh, stand westbound. Now northbound on Power Street, northbound on Power Street. Northbound Power Street, incorrect lane travel. Now correct lane, going to become over Carson your Avenue on Innocence Boulevard. On Innocence Boulevard, heading westbound. Westbound under the Port of Freeway, under Innocence Boulevard, still heading westbound. We're still coming around here, Innocence Boulevard. We're going to be coming up towards the LTD uh, once again here, Innocence Boulevard. Coming up towards Little Soul through Innocence Boulevard. Now we're going onto Calais Avenue, heading eastbound, or northbound, sorry, northbound Calais Avenue. Watch out for traffic. He's back in the scene with the suspect in the vehicle. Now we're heading westbound to Spucci. Now we're going southbound once again onto uh, Palomino Avenue. Watch out for traffic here. Southbound Palomino Avenue. He almost uh, hit a vehicle. Southbound Palomino Avenue. Now we're on South Rockford Drive, heading currently southeast, southeast, ra South Rockford Drive in the Porta. Coming up to Dutch London Street now, entering Dutch London Street, heading southbound Dutch London Street. Southbound Dutch London Street. Still southbound Dutch London Street, incorrect lane to travel. We're going to be coming uh, underneath of the, or sorry, going to be entering the uh, freeway here. We're still heading eastbound over Dutch London Street, going to be on the freeway. Just stand by for a second. We're coming up towards an off ramp. Over top of Dutch London Street, heading southbound. I don't know what street this is, stand by for a second. Incorrect lane to travel, he almost hit a fire vehicle. Someone go, go, go. Yep, we're gonna be in the correct lane to travel now. We're gonna be coming down to the airport. We're gonna be circling around the airport terminal. So southbound, we're picking up them, we'll let you know what happens. Lost eyes on him, we're still circling around. He just tc with the car and he's continuing. We're going to be in the correct wind travel north New Empire Way. Alright, we're not going to be taking the exit here. We're going to be getting on standby. Exceptional this way. North Town Exceptional this way. Let's not put a number for that. It's probably not real pretty. Yeah, I don't have an ID yet. But we're uh, north, we're going to be eastbound on Tokyo Parkway coming towards the outer ring of the Maze Bay Green. I'll let you know what he takes. We're still eastbound on Tokyo Parkway. I think this comes out onto Davis Avenue. Yeah, Davis okay. Avenue. Alright, we're still northbound on Tokyo Parkway. Still Tokyo. 
I'll let you know what it takes. It's coming out onto Davis Avenue now. Top falls behind you. He's going to be taking northbound lanes on Davis Avenue. North Davis. Watch out for traffic followed by a northbound turn on the foreign drive. Watch out, heavy traffic through here. We're going to be northbound turn. And break lane travel back to the break lane travel. We're going to be northbound Carson. Followed by a northbound turn on the Alt Street. Still continuing going underneath the Olympic freeway. Crossing over Adam's Apple, so we're going to open. User joined your channel. We're going to be crossing over Vespucci, still north on Alpha. Crossing underneath the St. Andreas, still north on Alpha. Crossing over Integrity, still north on Alpha. Parallel to the construction site now. We're going to be crossing over Capitol Boulevard. Watch out, we've got traffic here. We're going to be north on Alpha still. Crossing over Hallway. He's just going to be in the incorrect lane of travel now, still north on Alpha. We'll be taking a northbound turn or westbound turn on the bottom of the door. Incorrect line of travel, watch out, traffic. West on Eclipse. Crossing over San Vitus, the west on Eclipse. Where are we? Oh, okay. Flag. Gonna be in the incorrect line of travel, so south on West of Boulevard. We're just going to be taking a southbound turn on the Port Polo Drive. We're going to travel. Alright, back to the correct way drive. Correct way to travel, southbound Port Polo Drive. Watch out, unit. Crossing over Eastbourne, we're still going to be southbound Port Polo. Crossing over Carcer. It's now going to be southbound Palomino. Still continuing, southbound Palomino, watch out! Lincoln 20, we're going for in a pursuit lane. Uh, the silver spawning uh, for spikes. Alright, we're going to be south on Felice Avenue. Passing the initial scene. Alright, we're going to be taking a westbound on Pinsmitchy. I don't know what he's doing, but just going for the round. So westbound Pinsmitchy. Crossing over Palomino. We're going to be coming up towards VH2 in just a second. Yep, still continuing. Westbound Pinsmitchy. I'll let you know what he takes. We're going to be passing VH2 now. Still continuing. Northbound on. South or north on North Rock Drive. Okay, so you can just DC. We're still continuing southbound Red Desert Avenue. Still south on Red Desert Avenue. This is taking it. So you got six units in the line. Taking a southbound turn to Bay City, followed by a southbound turn on the St. Castle Way, followed by a westbound turn on Magellan. He's trying to get on a bike. Don't let that fall down. We're going to be westbound on Dillon Avenue. You want a bike sparked? Uh, please. Because he, he tried to get out. Or just not spike, just stay around it. Uh, we're going to be southbound Del Perro Freeway. Oh. Okay, now we're going to be eastbound Del Perro Freeway. Going underneath of the tunnel. We'll be in the tunnel. Still north on Del Perro. Incorrect line of travel, northbound Del Perro Freeway. He's going to be taking the exit here. I believe this comes out on the Palomino, stand by. TC! Okay, never mind. It was DC. We're going to be eastbound on the Puerto Freeway, incorrect line of travel. Now we're going to be southbound, incorrect line of travel on the Olympic Freeway. He's going to be taking that exit. This comes up onto Innocence Boulevard. I'll let you know if he takes it. It's on Lindsay Circus. We're going to be taking a northbound turn on the Ginger Street. Coming up onto the Vespucci. He's going to be taking a westbound turn on the Vespucci. He's heading back for that bike. Almost positive. We're going to be westbound Vespucci. Yeah, he's heading back for that bike. Southwest St. Grace Avenue. Look at Is anyone a partner to the pursuit lane? He's going for the bike. I'm not letting him get on it. If he tries to get on that bike, just get your feedback shotgun out. Just shoot him off the bike. All right. Yeah, he keeps going for it. North down Magellan Avenue. We're going to be in the uh, Del Perro parking lot now. Go ahead and pet him in the parking lot. He 
need one of them. Someone spike the exit, please. Alright, let's continue. We're gonna be parallel to the Del Perro freeway on the sand. We're still heading north now towards Red Ocean. Parallel again. Slipping the U turn. Heading back towards the bike now, southbound. Uh, Del Perro Beach. Yo, set up spikes before the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be coming right back to it, most likely. Okay, he's still riding on the sand. We're going underneath the pier now. Yep. We're directly underneath the pier, heading eastbound. Yep. Still continuing. Heading towards Lifeguard Tower 1. Still heading eastbound and right behind him. So we got pedestrians. Still heading towards Life Park Tower 1. It's going to be coming out onto Bay City. User joined your channel. Yep, and he's continuing. Alright, we're still north on Bay City Avenue. Passing over Rub Street and Tug Street. Still north on Bay City. We're going to be coming out onto Palomino. Alright, we're gonna be northbound Palomino. Is he spike by chance? Negative. Whoa! He looks as tired as a spike. We're gonna be northbound Palomino. Never mind, I'm not sure if he's spike. Just the unit to talk one for an active vehicle pursuit. Right, we're still northbound Palomino crossing over San Andreas. User joined your channel. This will be taking User the northbound lanes of upwards of freeway. Now on the left of the freeway. So we're taking the incorrect lane of block for the freeway. So I'll let you know back to the correct lane. It's going to turn on to the Olympic freeway. Like, wait, how many, uh, how many units do you got in the pursuit line? We got three. We've got three units in our line. Alright, go for pit. He was on the highway. Alright, we're going to be east on Olympic freeway. I'm going to be going for a pit. Never mind. He's taking the... Nope. Okay, he's continuing. I'm going to go for a pit before he hits the next exit. We're gonna be east on the look at freeway. Spinning out. Two out of eleven open mic. Hello there everybody and welcome to another Let's Play with the LSPD here on GTA World. I hope everybody's had a good week so far. I'm on vacation for the next five days, which is awesome. So uh, just finally get to relax a little bit anyways. Uh, still going to be busy with personal stuff, but uh, definitely get to relax a little bit more, which is really nice. Uh, so like I said, hope everyone's had a good week and everything. That pursuit I showed you there was from yesterday's recording. Uh, that was an insane pursuit. The guy obviously decided not to roll play his injuries like at all uh but anyways eventually we got the guy on the highway there he went to do a u-turn and i just careened the front of the car into him to put him down and uh ended the pursuit that way sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do because he was going to kill somebody he almost killed a couple officers uh he almost killed a couple officers in the uh pursuit there when he tried going back for his friend and whatnot so that was an intense pursuit um so yeah, we have 400 players online. I'm probably going to play for the next hour or hour 15 minutes and I got to get rolling because I have to go do some stuff outside. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of play time here. Uh, Kravik in real life is probably going to have to go through some changes because Nova Scotia, I guess, passed a police identity management law or something of that nature. And it's very open-ended. It says may not possess any icons or... Uh, equipment on your vehicle that may represent a cop but so I took out the police interceptor badge I'll replace it with the P71 interceptor badge which Ford puts there because that's the type of vehicle it is it is a Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor and then the push bar I'm not sure if that's going to have to go or not they told somebody driving a Taurus the other day I guess they had to take the push bar off because it makes it look like a police vehicle where it's an ex-police vehicle so the problem is the law is super open-ended 
not very specific. I'm like, so what's that mean? Do you have to call the police every time you see somebody in a Jeep driving a push bar? Because, oh, I think it looks like a cop. I better call the police. So it seems like you're okay until a Karen decides to report your vehicle. But it's, it's a very questionable law. I understand why they're trying to do it because the mass shooting that happened here too a little over two years ago, but it's law is very open-ended, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, like I get some of the things that are in it, you can't own uniforms and a marked police car and all that stuff, which makes tons of sense, um, but the, the stuff as far as what can and can't be on your vehicle is very questionable and seems to be very open-ended to allow it to where anybody driving a former cop car, which I do, even though the Crown Vic's 15 years old and nobody thinks the cop car anymore, it it depends on who you encounter, if they decide to charge you or not, because you can get a $10,000 fine and also end up in prison, I think, for six months or five years. It's one or the other, but uh, anyways, I don't think I'd be going to jail or anything over a push bar, but the thing is, is that at the end of the day, the law is just super open-ended, and it, it, it's a little bit confusing because, like I said, it's just where it is so open-ended there's nothing specific about it. it basically just lets whoever decides to enforce that law to do what they want so it's a little frustrating that way because do i need to take the push bar off do i need to leave it on the worst part is they tell you to take it off you take it to the station they destroy it and for those of you that don't know but push bars are actually worth a good amount of money so if i do need to take it off i'd rather sell it for 100 150 bucks to somebody in a province uh and that way I can get a little bit of money back. The other crappy part is it's going to leave two holes in the front of my the front of my bumper. So who would have to pay to get those fixed? Me. Um, honestly, what it might do if I have to, uh, I'll take the push bar off and then leave it there. And that way, if I ever sell the car, then whoever buys the car can have the push bar and put it back on if they want to. Be up to them. But uh, yeah, like I said, guys, the law is a little bit frustrating just because it's so not specific. <laughs> So I might call the RCMP station uh, early in the week and just see what they say. But at the end of the day, like, if you ask them, then they say, oh, you got to take it off, take it down the station, boom, there goes your money. So, like, I might just take the push bar off and leave the brackets sitting there, which is going to look stupid. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but push bars on an old Crown Vic do look kind of cool, depending on how the Crown Vic is, because mine looks a little bit more rugged than it does clean in a sense, so the push bar definitely adds to it, whereas the clean, clean Crown Vic, I like them without a push bar. Um, yeah, so in-game, I don't, I think I have myself set as clear, I never really checked. Seems to be pretty quiet so far, we've just been kind of patrolling around and whatnot, we probably will get somebody to pull over here, have no fear, this is GTA World, someone's always breaking the law somewhere, it's just a matter of that you gotta find them. Very nice and sunny out today, guys, too. Summer weather is here. Still gets a little cool at night. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but summer is my favorite time of the year. I love the 25, 35 degrees Celsius weather when it gets up there. Love going outside and enjoying the sun and the pool and all that stuff. So, yeah. Holy, there's like nobody up on these streets, guys. But, uh, yeah, so at least I should be interesting to see how it goes for my Crown Vic. Like I said, I did remove the police interceptor logo on it, so it looks a little naked on the back now, because I got so used to have the police interceptor badge there, which is what the car is. Um, like I said, no one really thinks the car is a cop car, but if the Karen does decide to report it, then unfortunately that puts the police in a spot where they're probably going to have to do something about it. So I may take the push bar off preemptively, because I just don't feel like having to go to court and spend my own money for something that tedious that at the grand scheme of things, when I do sell that car, isn't really going to affect me anymore at the end of the day. Like, you got to ask yourself, is this going to affect me in two or three years? And if the answer is no, then don't get up and ante about it, really, at the end of the day. And that's something that is just not really going to affect me. Uh, this isn't actually an intersection, so I'm not going to stop there. But at the end of the day, that's not going to affect me in two or three years when I very likely do not own that car anymore. Uh, especially if gas keeps going the way it is, because gas right now, guys, it has hit over here in Canada, Nova Scotia, $8.10 a gallon, and they're talking about it going upwards of $10 a gallon for the summer, which is painful. I filled up the other day, it was a little over $75 for half a tank at the old Crown Vic, so 
definitely not cheap to drive anymore, although I'm sure that's a story for everybody regardless of what they drive. Uh, but uh, that's just the way things are these days, so I might have eventually have to go to a four-cylinder, but uh, even that is hard to justify because in selling a car that's worth three and a half to forty-five hundred dollars and going up and buying a car that's worth ten to twelve K for better fuel economy and it's going to take three years to make up the difference. That guy is friggin' flying, he just hit the sidewalk. Wow. I'm already called for backup, no plate or nothing. I don't trust this person, do you guys? <laughs>
word from a towering legend of the now. Bow to your prince. It's very hard not to get copyright strikes on here. Welcome to Mac DeMarco's Cosmic Community. Greetings, Libra. The candles are lit, the incense is burning. Can you hear the music? Because you can't really turn the radio off on other people, which sucks. So a lot of the time in my videos, you guys will hear sections that are muted, that's why. All right, I go write up her information. We'll be back. Take grape seat or head towards the Los Santos Freeway. Correction: southbound turn across the railroad tracks towards what I can only describe as the alien hangout. Still eastbound on this dirt road. This is going to curve southbound. Uh, it looks like a dead end, but they have been known to go off road with this. Still southbound. All right, they've reached the dead end and are continuing off road onto Sonora Freeway southbound. We're passing by the hardware store again. Like we're heading back towards the city. Route 68 turn off is coming up. They are off roading it eastbound. They're off the freeway, across the railroad tracks, and into the quarry. They're in the quarry now. Still in the quarry. Alright, stationary. We're stationary inside the northern tip of the quarry. We're looking in the direction of the quarry's entrance. One is off. Two are off. Okay, the original driver is back on the driver's seat. They're on the move again. Looks like they're heading back up along the quarry. Southbound now towards the entrance. Control unit, they're on your right. Take that immediate right, they're right in front of you. They're turning back around northbound. Back on the uppermost road in the northern tip. Taking the eastern side southbound. And they're off road. Stationary. They're off-roading this bike. Leave down a mountainside, or at least in a, a downward gradient. They're east of the quarry now. Unit, uh, if you stop, you'll see them on your left. Taking it slow, but they are still going eastbound. But Eric can see there are no roads for a pretty fair distance about. They're heading towards the ocean through some dried riverbeds. They're about to hit the beach. Turning southbound now. get close to the power station, right? Uh, they are pretty far north of the power station still. So they're like 
next to the water? Uh, yes. They're pretty much next to the ocean at this point. If a sheriff could... PM 263 with one of their names for a report. Like uh, he's dead because he got shot before. How do we deal with that? Just keep it as he turned to report. <clears throat> say as he. I'm sorry, did you get it? Just say, say I'm character, say I'm character. the location currently currently still stationary i'm trying to get one unit for reference are they are they in this uh, valley area or are they on the mountain uh they are currently in a drive river bed okay uh unit yes, with yes. the rifle if you follow that creek bed they're about wait, 100 meters up can i wait for me can I'm, I'm i'm like i'm like five seconds behind you can and wait for me because they're both armed okay I'm gonna be on your left, on the hill. You know, okay. close, could you update your cab? We're on foot. I'm right behind you, uh, Gannon. I have high eyes on them right now. Alright, so All right. they are just under those big trees in front of you guys. Yep, yep. Yeah, I see them. I'm gonna be on the left, on the hill. Sloughy's here now, no, because it's an admin scene.
I was running, guys. I need some people to stay behind to secure the other suspects. Yeah, someone stay behind to secure the other one. Remember those guys are both up. northbound up the dry riverbed still. Following it, using it as a pathway. Continuing along, he has literally nowhere to go. Still northbound. I think he's on. Yes, he is confirmed yeah, to be armed. Still following that same riverbed. Is someone still behind with the other guy? Sound like a turn to you. Whoever yes. stay behind with the second suspect, I don't have a local attack. He's cutting eastbound now. He's following the riverbed east. Grown a lot steeper over here. Bunny hopping. <laughs> Still in the northeastern direction. Over the crest of the hill. Slowing down. Continuing. Oh, he's stumbling. He's falling. Yeah, don't follow him down there. He's following. He's following. Or falling. Sorry. Get units to go towards the bridge on the eastern side by... And he's... Come to a stop. I don't see him. Is he still moving? There's no way on him. No, he's yeah. uh, he's out. All right. Down on the ground, unmoving. Seven hundred twenty-two. Air, uh, keep eyes on. Refer future. Comes to LTAC. User joined your channel. You can probably clear mutual aid one right? They're both down. Yeah, I'm looking to We can clear hey, mutual aid one. Refer to local User tech, left your channel. User channel left switched. your channel. All right, guys, uh, that was crazy. The guy decided to jump off Mount Chill out of all places, so it didn't end very well for him. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna have to cut the let's play here because I'm gonna have to get going. I gotta go uh, do some stuff here and whatnot. I hope you all enjoyed this let's play. It was definitely a different kind of one. Uh, <laughs> The guy freaking jumped. He kept on running, 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 just fell all the way down Mount Chill out and died. So, like I said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time for the next one.